as some of you know, I have some political aspirations, if you will. Uh, but I know in truth that, for one, people aren't ready for the truth. How about you? Um, and sometimes I, I think about if I were to try to get involved in political debate, go to some places, go to like a, what is a Iowa, side of Iowa, right? Not Idaho, Iowa. You know, over here where they traditionally have, you know. When people are initially getting in, putting uh, their name into the race and thinking about uh, running for president and whatnot. And it seems like I can do posse confront some people. But as I sat here and thought about it, what's up, baby? I know in truth that the language I speak would not be their language. We would speak two totally different languages. Because I would be speaking the language of truth, and they would not. I see you. Just because I'm making a video, I'm trying to get over and do something. They would be speaking the language of half truths, of you know nothing truly solid, of working to give you what you want to hear. That's what. You that which will help them be elected. I mean, our conversation would not get anywhere. It would dissolve into into what? But really it would dissolve into truth. They wouldn't admit and face truth all they would do is run. All they would do is try to discredit me, um, discredit my very intelligence, my worth, my value, um, experience, whatever it is, whatever it can find. Now, they may be able to do some of this in truth, but that which they could not discredit, devalue is truth but yet they could because they constantly do maybe even you constantly do the very fact that we that you constantly and consistently elect the same type of officials within the same government system and yet you complain and yet you accept what it is they, t they tell you, and yet you know the truth of the political system, ultimately it's speaking about you. But all of you. Yes? My conversation with them will not go over any better than it goes over with most people in general. Because as I speak truth, it brings out bad things to the people who don't want truth. Speaking truth brings out truth. But if you don't want truth, if you don't see truth, if you don't want to hear truth, if you don't believe in truth, if you don't love truth with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, well then it turns all bad. It causes confusion, anger. This was just demonstrated to me yesterday. If you speak the language of truth to people, it will bring out the truth. But it's going to be painful to someone. And generally it's to the person who has no acceptance of truth. Lana Spinati found herself face to face with Luann Zelnick the congressional candidate who had denounced the mosque project. And a lot of people stand with me. Zelnick had finished second in the Republican primary. And I don't understand why you are not outraged with the rights of children and females. 
under Sharia law. Man, it's time to step up. I'm Muslim. I think you're wonderful. I have Thank Muslims you. to call me. And I've never felt you. oppressed by well, anyone. I'm glad you haven't. But what about the others that have? have who, you been to the who in this county, who in this county that is a woman has been oppressed by anyone? <laughs> you, are you through? I've never yeah. seen anyone in Murfreesboro, any woman in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, that has been oppressed by any man that is a Muslim. Okay, would you interview her? I think she's great oh, interview. Yeah, she place. really wants to take uh, over, and I think that's no, important. Ahead. You yes, have your go point. Ahead. Go ahead. I I'm think sorry. you're really important.